talking about, mate? Oh, listen, right? This is part two of my guide on how to master our Wait, this is part two? So if you haven't seen part one, go and watch that first, mate. But if you have, right, let's carry on where we left off. So give this video a like and subscribe, right? And let's continue making you the absolute sex god that you were born to be. Loud. Another thing that makes people not stand out whatsoever, which guys on dating sites seem to love to do for some reason, small talk. Now, mate, seriously, right? Do not ask me how I am or how my day is going. It's Don't just so boring. Because one, Honestly. you don't actually fucking like. Please stop asking that. Like, on on here in chat, right? Yeah, fine, fine, it's fine. But like, if if you just meet someone, if you just meet someone and try to talk to them for the first time, don't just say how are you. Like, I've gotten so many fucking random ass people just DMing me that I don't know, and they say, how are you? I- I can't. Like, I just- I just can't. Okay, right? And two, the amount of people who slid in my DMs with their fucking mindless small talk is fucking intense. It is really is boring. Right. Small that talk was... is boring enough getting yep. it from one person, right? But getting it from hundreds! Oh my god! Mate, that's- that's exactly what I mean. It's- It's just NPCs messaging you. It's literally at that point, it's just NPCs messaging you. It's just like... I don't even want to answer you. <laughs> I just- I just don't even want to answer you. If I don't know you and you just message me, the inner DM, if you slid in on my DMs, just messaging me, how are you? I'm more likely to not answer. It's too much. Seriously, the amount of small talk that I got, and I'm guessing that every girl gets right, is fucking astronomical. But in case you don't understand just how bad this small talk problem is, right, do you want to see a small snapshot of just how much small talk I got in the span of just two days? Oh, God. How's it going? How's it going? Hey, how's it oh going? How's it going? Hi, how's it going? Hey, how's it going? How's oh it going? God. How's it going? How are you? How are you? How are you? How are you? Hey, how are you? Ha, how are you? How are you doing? Hey, how are you doing? How are you today? How are you today? What are you up to today? What have you been doing today? Hope you're having a good day. How's your Thursday? Happy Friday. <laughs> How's your day? Having a good week? Hope you're having a good week. Had a good week? How's your week going? How's your week coming along? Got any plans for the week? End? La fucking hell! <laughs> fucking Christ, man! Mate, it's actually <laughs> infuriating. Listen, if you think you're gonna make someone fall in love with you by being the 96th person to ask her how her fucking day's going, right? Best of luck to you, mate. I, however, <laughs> suggest some actual fucking banter and conversation over small talk any day, right? But you do you. Compliments, okay. And compliments too. Now listen, there's nothing wrong with giving compliments, right? In fact, right, they're necessary. But I've found, right, that some guys will rely on them pretty much exclusively and Ugh. think that their compliment will do all the heavy lifting Ugh, for them because some guys will give you a message where they send me a compliment, right? And nothing else! You're cute. Like, what are you doing? Legit, what are you doing? What are you doing? Personally, I don't think I'm cute. Why are you texting me? You're cute. No, I'm not! Have a be interesting! <laughs> Be fucking interesting! <laughs> Your ears are really fluffy, kids. So what kind of shampoo do you use? <laughs> Both of you to assume that I shower. Now, mate, do you consider this an interesting message that's gonna make you stand out and make me like you? Because it fucking isn't. Now, mate, have you forgotten that I have 1,756 guys in my inbox? And this is the boring shit that you sent me. Now, mate, get out of my inbox. <laughs> it's literally no better than the boring wankers who say, hey, or just ask me how my day's going. Like, so many guys do this, right? And don't realize that it is crap conversation skills. Actually. Because, right, what can I really say in response besides just saying, thanks? Literally. You know what I mean? Literally. What? 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 <laughs> How are you gonna, like, have conversation to this? Like, thanks. Or, like, I'm not cute. Like, cool. <laughs> It just, he's right! Don't do that! Gets frustrating as fuck. Here, let me give you a few examples, right? Hi, cute profile. Thanks. You're cute. <laughs> Thanks. You have gorgeous eyes. Thanks. You're simply stunning. <sighs> Thanks. Thanks. Just want to say, you look amazing in your pic. Yes! 
Thanks. Thanks. Not Thanks. too much. You look really hot. Yes, I fucking know. <laughs> All right. I know you find me hot. No bad. But it's obvious. I don't think you messaged me because I'm ugly as fuck, but I have great personality. Do you know what I mean? Feel free Chill to say I look hot, right? But for the love of God, man, say something else with it. D his accent. Oh my God, his accent is so amazing. <laughs> I love him. Cat. What women want. Okay, let's and go. And another thing that girls look for in a guy, right? It's someone who makes them feel secure. Like, that's okay. why girls like guys who are fit and go gym, right? So they feel right. physically secure. It's why they like guys who have their own place and a good job, right? So they right. feel financially secure. But the sure. thing that girls find the hottest, right? And I don't know if people know this. Is a guy who has their online data secured, which you can get from the smart bastards. Oh my god, no way. No way. Who have a 60% of no the right now. Mate, have you ever heard that phrase? If a product is free, you're no not the customer. Way. You are the product. Yeah, mate. Yes, that sir. means that there are companies out there who make a lot of money by selling, well, you. <laughs> They're yes. selling you, mate. And there are companies called data brokers who collect your personal information from various sources, right? Piece it together like a puzzle to build a detailed profile of who you are and then sell it off to companies. <laughs> who then harass and spam you with random telemarketer calls, spam emails, and even the odd scam here and there. And even worse. <laughs> How nice of them. But that's where Incogni comes in. Incogni basically acts as your online lawyer, right? And goes to these slimy data broker companies right. and makes polite legal requests to delete your data or else there's going to be problems. And after it does this, right, it then continues to make sure that they don't go and start collecting your data all over again. Which is amazing for online safety. Mate, and it's so simple to use. Like, all you have to do is give it some basic information, right? And it gets right. to work right away. Like, last time I mentioned Incogni in the video about a month ago, right? They had cleared my personal data from seven data brokers. But since then, right? Mate, it's gone up to 38. <laughs> with only four stubborn bastards left. And just look at all the time it saved me. Nice one, Incogni. And it can do the same for you too. But if you want to protect your online data, right? Go to incogni.com forward slash grade A and use code grade A to get a massive 60% off. Well, you heard it here first. Lucky you. <laughs> this is in short, right? A lot of what I've said in this video can be summed up in one simple tip. Okay, golden rule. Try and message her something you need yes. that she hasn't heard a thousand times before. Yeah. But that can be hard for a lot of people to do. Yep. Clearly, seeing as how around 80% of my inbox consists of this crap. Listen, like the general rule is to not be a boring bastard, right? And to personalize what you say to each person you're messaging. And the best way to do that, right, is to look at their profile and be a right witty bastard and reply to something written in that and charm the pants off from doing that. But what? even that can get repetitive and boring as fuck from a girl's perspective, right? Because guys aren't creative at all. Like the Hinge profile that I made, right? It had some shit about reading oh and traveling on it. Okay. Like the two things I've basically done none of in my life. Okay. But then, right, my inbox suddenly became managed to get through any reading. What are you reading? What's on your reading list? What are you reading? Of course, it's just that. Where's next on your travel list? What place you want to travel to? Anywhere next on your travel list? Where's the next place you want to travel? Any cool travel plans coming up? So where's next on your travel list? Where's the next place you want to travel to? Lord fucking Christ, man! How do girls put up with this shit all day long? What to say? Okay. Well, enough of that shit, right? Right. Enough of what not to say in your messages. Okay. The more important question is what should you say yeah. in your messages? Enlighten us. And to that, right, I say... I don't fucking know. <laughs> Mate, think about who you're asking. I'm the expert on what not to say when online dating. Not what to say. I haven't got a fucking clue. <laughs> What to ah, say for just real? Just kidding, mate. Listen, the recipe for how to be successful when online dating, right, is really fucking simple. And people do overcomplicate talking to girls online so much, right, when it's actually easy as fuck. And all you have to do, and I cannot stress this enough, right, mm -hmm. is make sure you are unbelievably good looking. Oh my god. Like, shockingly good looking. No. Do that, right? And everything <laughs> else I've said in this video won't matter. You can be boring <laughs> as fuck and just say, hey, whip out the small talk. You can do no wrong me. Oh just do god. this, right? And you'll be slaying mad pussy in no time. <laughs> just like me. <laughs> Fantastic. That's the end of my masterclass. Hope that helps, mate. Best of luck on your online dating journeys, right? And also, right, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and bell and all that shit. And I'll see you in the next video. Right, cheers, mate. Peace. <laughs> we learned so much. We learned so much today. But is he wrong? Nope, he's right. He is right.